trust in government, transparency, and the integrity of our democratic processes. These aren't just political buzzwords. They're the lifeblood of a functioning society, the foundation upon which our collective future rests. Barack Obama's message, with its call for renewed faith in our institutions, resonates deeply with those who still cling to hope. They believe that reform is possible, that progress isn't just a distant dream, but a tangible reality we can reach if we just try. But for many, his words fall flat, echoing through the widening chasm between those who see the government as a force for good and those who can't shake the feeling that it's all a facade, a system inherently tainted by corruption. The other side knows. It's easier to play on people's fears and cynicism, always has been. They will tell you that government is inherently corrupt, that, that sacrifice and generosity are for suckers. Since the game is rigged, it's okay to take what you want and just look after your own. That's the easy path. We have a different task. Our job is to convince people that democracy can actually deliver. And, and in doing that, we can't just point to what we've already accomplished. We can't just rely on the ideas of the past. We need to chart a new way forward to meet the challenges of today. And Kamala understands this. She knows, for example, that if we want to make it easier for more young people to buy a home, we need to build more units and clear away some of the outdated laws and regulations that made it harder to build homes for working people in this country. That is a priority. And she's put out a bold new plan to do just that. On health care, we should all be proud of the enormous progress that we've made through the Affordable Care Act, providing millions of people access to affordable coverage, protecting millions more from unscrupulous insurance practices. And I noticed, by the way, that since it's become popular, they don't call it Obamacare no more. The skepticism, the distrust, it's palpable. It's the uneasy undercurrent in every political conversation a shadow that looms over every promise of transparency and fairness. Barack Obama's call to trust in democracy? For some, it feels like a bitter pill, especially when history has shown time and again that corruption often lurks just beneath the surface. The Epstein case, a stark reminder of how the truth can be obscured, only fuels the fire of doubt. And so when Obama speaks of integrity, of the government's ability to do right by its people, it's easy for many to hear not a message of hope, but a dismissal of their very real fears. It's as if he's trying to smooth over the cracks with words, while the foundation itself remains unstable. And that only deepens the belief that the government, no matter who speaks for it, simply cannot be trusted. 